I'm hiking up into a creek by my area and we've just had a lot of really heavy rain so I'm hoping that I can find some uh, new fresh new landslides. I'm looking for selenite and biotite crystals. Um, I found lots of it here in the past, little flakes and pieces, but I'm hoping to find some bigger chunks. So uh, let's see what we find. Keeper. Mm, uh, I see a lot of these out here. I think this is uh, a quartz vein eroded from the host rock. So pretty cool. Looks like bone. Really hard. Smurf Village. I think this is the area I was in last time, if I'm not mistaken. Recognize that big tree. So this is the landslide area I was hoping for. Doesn't look like a lot of material fell straight down, but a lot's been washed away, so maybe we'll get an open wall. I'll start looking here. Ha, huh, I shouldn't even have turned my camera off. The second I did. Look at this. Just sitting there. And Two more. One more here. Look at that guy. Just in the dirt. I know they're just selenite, but definitely a crystal shape. I'm hoping to find something bigger. Um, but yeah, that's literally in the first three seconds I got here, so I'll keep looking. All right, so I was looking around the creek bed and I found a pretty big sizable stone here. Look at this guy. Not the prettiest crystal, but it's a crystal nonetheless. Got a little termination. Um, so I'm hoping I can keep digging here in this little mud pocket and find some more. I'm right on the water. So I'm gonna have at it. it makes it a little extra difficult deciding what's a crystal or not because all the rocks in here are pretty angular. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm getting at until I kind of rinse it off. Luckily I got the water right next to me. So just a rock. I'm hitting a lot of that. So I got tired of what seemed like just float from up the hill, so I made a sketchy climb and dug out some steps. Put a couple logs in the way to step up, but uh, my stuff's down there. I'm about, I don't know, 25 feet over the creek right now. And there's all sorts of sign everywhere. I mean, you can see that. That's everywhere. And I started finding these orange ones now, which it's still the mica material, but it might have, uh, I don't know, some iron in it or whatever. Or maybe it's just from whatever's in the clay or the plants, but... All right, so it's still hard to tell. Some of these have a lot of, like, dirt inclusions, but you can see that iron color in there. Every one of these crystals has, like, an edge or a termination. They're kind of hard to tell when they're big mess like this, but I pulled a couple samples apart, and you can see uh, all those, like, awesome angles on that. So cool. A big old lump. Spear. So yeah, there's a bunch of pretty cool ones. Look at the color on that guy.
We have some cool mushrooms I found again. Awesome. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's like an... Oh, I lost it. It's some kind of like rodent jawbone or something. Yeah. Small animal. Crazy. Guess he died with the mushrooms. All right, so there's the one I just pulled out of the wall. And if you look close here. Wait, where are you? Oh, right there. There's one. Then right here. There's one. Let's see how big that is. That could be big. Uh, just a chip. No, oh, it's pretty big. Oh, there's actually two. Two more. So there's that little guy. Oh, there's a piece here. Looks like a chip. This looks like a big piece of just a flake. Another flake. Yeah, this is the material you find this in. And the fact that it's muddy and falling apart makes it easier to just brush it away and look, but it also falls out really easy. It's probably all over the ground. Yeah, like you can see in the float in the ground here, there's little pieces everywhere. But occasionally you'll find a big piece. All right, so I may have found an end here. I don't know, it's kind of dirty, but it feels pretty tough. Let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, that's got some really cool terminations on it. And a biotite. <laughs> Finally, a good one. All right, so here's another one. Looks like a crystal like that last one. Uh, right above it. But, oh, there's some more right here. That's a pretty good chunk. Once again, I think this is the biotite. Not positive, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, there's some more right here. Pretty sizable chunks. Good one. There's one right above it. Uh, that feels bigger. I might need my shovel for that one. I'm gonna dig that one out a bit. Found a couple more. All right, so I found this pocket of material. Uh, I didn't want to lose it anymore because of that. But yeah, look at all that crystal structure all down the back. I'm gonna keep breaking it away, see if the junk stuff will give way to some actual crystals. But yeah, a lot of it just fell out. It might be down a whole seam down that wall. So I'm gonna take a look. So in that crack is all these really cool pieces of that silica structure. It's so fragile. You just just moving it, pulling it out, it fell apart. So there's a couple pieces here, but I don't even know if I can get them home without them falling into little slivers. I mean, if you look around, there's like little slivers everywhere. There's a little bit of that pocket left back in there. I'm going to try to break into it a little bit, see if there might be a couple bigger hole crystals, but I think it's all going to break apart like that. Still cool nonetheless. So I found this little seam, and if you, I don't know if you can see it, it's got tons of these little orange selenite crystals in it. There's a couple uh, on the matrix, but they are so fragile. I touch them and they fall apart. It's unfortunate, I don't know if I can get them back. But they're really pretty. So these are all the pieces I brought back with me. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview right here, and then I'm gonna get some photos and throw them in. Not a bad haul.